Welcome to NanoCAD Pro version 20. NanoCAD Pro is NanoSoft's top the line 3D modeling software. It lets you work with 3D point clouds, 3D BIM structures, 3D constraints, and for PDF files, it doesn't just underlay them, it also imports them as entities. New in NanoCAD 20 is the welcome screen. It shows you drawings you've recently opened, provides access to add-ons that specialize NanoCAD, and gives you a pretty good overview of what's new in this latest release. The undo command now previews what you'll be changing. And as you move the cursor over the list of undo items, you see in real time the drawing updating itself to show what will happen. The same works for redo. Many commands now support options right at the cursor. In previous releases, you could already adjust the distance and angle, but now when you press the down arrow, you see the options available at this point during each command. When you select an entity like a polyline and pause your cursor over one of the grips, you now have access to commands right at the cursor, such as stretching, adding a vertex, and converting it to an arc, or back again to a straight line. This lets you edit without needing to enter commands. NanoCAD Pro is a fully capable 3D package, and yet sometimes it's necessary to draw in 2D on 3D faces. Version 20 comes with a dynamic UCS, which you turn on by clicking this button on the status bar. Start a command like circle, and then as you move your cursor around the 3D model, NanoCAD highlights flat faces on which you can draw. Click, and then specify the circle. Restart the command, and then draw on another face. The press pull command lets you do direct editing by directly manipulating 2D entities and faces of 3D models. NanoCAD Pro already works with 2D constraints and 20 adds 3D constraints. From the 3D Tools tab, select 3D Constraint. Select the first solid object, the edge of the second solid object, and the two are then constrained together. Notice that you have the opposed option which reverses the direction of the two constrained objects. The bounding prism lets you see inside of 3D objects and I'm going to use the rectangle option here because it's the easiest and I'm prompted to pick two points to specify it. And once you're done specifying it then portions of the model are hidden from view so that you can see the inside of it. You can then use the grips to modify the boundary. The Manage tab offers the new Draw and Compare tool. When you click it, you're then prompted to open two drawings. I'm going to open this drawing of a shaft, and then the second drawing with which I'm comparing it is a modified version of that drawing. Now I click Compare, and we see the differences. The green belongs to file number one, and the red belongs to file number two. Portions are gray are common to both. NanoCAD has been able to show you a live preview of your plot by clicking the show per page preview. The result is in color. But now in 20, when you select a black and white plotter, such as this laser jet printer, the preview is now in grayscale. When you plot a drawing as a PDF, click the setup button because now you can convert SHX text into annotations in the PDF file. Let's see what they look like. Click OK, plot, and now when we come into the PDF file, we can see that all the SHX text is actually a comment. Being a comment, it can be edited. You can edit Lisp and other programming languages in Notepad, but now NanoCAD includes Script Editor, which formats the source code of a variety of languages so you can more easily see what's going on. It handles JavaScript, Visual Basic Script, Lisp, Dialog Control Language, and regular command scripts. The System Variable Monitor tells you which system variables have changed. You access it by clicking the System Variable button in the Manage tab. 
Variables whose values have changed from the default are shown in blue. Placing the cursor over one provides help, as does the description area. One variable I change a lot is dim scale. And if you want to see this one at the top of the list because you use it a lot, click here to pin it. And then when you move to the top, there it is. You can edit the values directly by simply entering them. With NanoCAD 20, you can now create your own commands, which are made up from other commands and options. In fact, you could run several commands in a row. Through this dialog box, you can customize the ribbon, menus, toolbars, even shortcut keystrokes. And I'll do a quick example. Click on Create Accelerator, search for the command such as Zoom, click OK, and then I enter Control J as the keyboard shortcut. Click OK. I can use Control J to start the zoom command.